Hi, this is Rich from Wings, Wheels & Wires, and if you're considering buying a Tesla Model 3, this is an exciting and interesting time. But you might find yourself wondering, when exactly should I buy? So I guess we got to talk about that right now. Sound the alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming up. We'll have the fall. So I guess I ought to start with explaining what makes this an exciting and interesting time to buy a Tesla Model 3 and why when you buy matters. You see, if you don't already know, Tesla is in the process of doing a refresh on the Model 3. It's referred to as Project Highland. Um, and this is a lot of interior uh, uh, construction changes as well as some aesthetic changes like changing the front end and the rear end. So when we talk about which version you should buy or when you should buy, I think let's first knock out a couple really basic uh, elements. If you need the vehicle today, then you should buy it today, right? There's no sense in not owning a vehicle for several months waiting for another one to come out. The other one is um, which version you like. If you've seen it, uh, right here I have, the as it appears on the Chinese website, it's already available for pre-order. Um, if you like the new design better than the old design, then you're probably going to be more inclined to wait for the newer design. If you prefer the older design and the features in the older vehicle, then that may be more your preference and you may want to lean that way. For me, I much prefer the new design, so I would be waiting for, waiting for the newer vehicle. Another one of the basic factors we really need to knock out is the tax incentives. If you've already used your tax incentives for this year, as I have, then you're more, going to be more inclined to wait until the next model year or next year in order to uh, benefit from utilizing tax incentives. Now, if you haven't already used them, this is where it gets a little more tricky because you can use it in either year now, but Elon Musk has already warned that Tesla's next year may possibly not get the full tax credit because of updates and changes to the tax credit requirements as far as battery production chemistry. So the same Tesla on December 31st of this year that might get 7,500 on January 1st might only get 3,750. So that's something to keep in mind as far as your timing as well. Now, overall, the new version of the Model 3 is a better version. So why would you even consider buying a current Model 3? All right, well, there's a couple reasons. One, as I mentioned earlier, is preference in the body design. The other one is pricing. You see, there's this thing called the Osborne effect. The company, Osborne Computing, had, was making computer uh, products, and they had sworn to all their customers that their next version of their computer was going to be leaps and bounds ahead of their current uh, computer. Their intent was to get interest in their company, but the problem is what they got was a lot of interest for their next computer. This uh, basically cannibalized the interest for their current computer. So since they couldn't sell their current model of the computer, they went bankrupt before they were ever able to release the new version. So the Osborne effect is people waiting for the next version and not buying what's available right now. And this is something Tesla has to be very careful to manage, right? Even right now, if you look, there's a big focus on their existing inventory. If you go into the Tesla configurator, you can build a, any given Tesla. You can build a Model 3. You can also go on to the existing inventory. And if you find the same Model 3, you'll find that it is marked down at roughly $4,500 from the one you would have built. So this is already them pushing their existing inventory out the door. You can also expect that at the end of the year, Tesla's going to incentivize sales of their existing inventory to clear out numbers and, and ra raise their numbers before the end of the year. You saw a, a really big, strong push on that at the tail end of last year where they had all the incentives to kind of make up for the lack of tax rebates. Um, and that was a really big push. And I have no doubt you're going to get a similar thing this year. The other thing to be aware of is when the new Model 3 is going to become available here in the U.S. The Chinese Tesla Model 3 is available, supposedly going to be delivering in Q4 of this year. That means the U.S. ones will either be Q1 or Q2 of next year. Now, if it's Q2 of next year, you can see, you can see some pricing fluctuations in the current Model 3s. 
in the first quarter. But what if they have delivery starting in the first quarter of 2024? They're going to really want to fight that Osborne effect by really pushing down the Model 3s that they already have in inventory. And I can think you're going to see even more price drops. So if you get all those three downward pressure price drops as well as the tax incentives, the last two weeks of December 2023 may be the perfect time to get a Model 3 if you're okay with the current model design. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hitting the subscribe button would greatly support the channel. And, of course, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And stand by to the end of the video to hear my new subscriber shoutouts. If you absolutely positively have to get the refresh Model 3, I think you're going to want to wait. Here's the thing. So, let's say they start deliveries in Q1. I don't think you're going to want to take delivery any earlier in Q2, maybe even Q3. Because, again, when we talk about the production cost of the Model 3, the Highland will be a much lower production cost than the current Model 3. So, realistically, if they frame the sales price based even close to the production price, it should get much cheaper than what it already is. I think right now they're presenting the hot price as being equal to the current Model 3, again, to prevent the Osborne effect. If I were to tell you, hey, the next version of my car will be $10,000 cheaper than the current version, would you buy the current version? No. So I think the current prices are going to be artificially inflated and once all the current Mo model 3 inventory is gone and it's only the highland version i'm willing to bet that there's a reduction in price tell me what you think about this though do you expect the price to be reduced and if so how much or do you think that uh, it's going to stay the same let me know down below while we're talking about price let's take a look at the price of the model 3 refresh on the chinese tesla website it currently, the standard range is 259,900 yuan, which is about equal to about $35,612. So it is a little bit cheaper than the Model 3 here in the U.S., but labor costs are cheaper there as well. For long-range Model 3, they're currently at 295,900 yuan, which is roughly 40,000 $545, which is, again, still notably cheaper than the U.S. cost. So I imagine that when the refresh comes out in here in the U.S., it'll be a little bit more expensive, but not so much that you're going uh, to you're, you're gonna see much of a difference. It's still going to be incentivized financially to get the current version until they get rid of it. So that's kind of my take on this. I'd love to hear what your take is. Are you interested in the new Model 3? Are you... Um, like the old one better did you need more of a breakdown of the features i've seen it done on a lot of channels already so i didn't want to repeat what they said but if you'd like to hear that i can do a whole video on that just hit me up down below and i'll take care of that and now it's time for the subscriber shout outs if you'd like your own shout out all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and either make sure your name is visible or put in the comments down below that you subscribed aussie fig tree online richard Zola Gary Flag Matt Johnson And I hope I don't screw this one up too bad Hoppy Ako Anthony Myers Garrett Wessels Carly P Thank you all very much. I'm almost caught up with my list. If you didn't hear your name yet, it'll be on the next one.